Alright, so just a quick overview of all the wiring. So it's an ignition coil two, uh, one, two, three, and four. Big picture. Gonna come down here, cam angle sensor. Uh, this one, don't know, intake plug. That just goes in there. And then out of the wiring harness here, that goes in there. And that one goes down into a little plug there. Following on, got a white one that plugs into this by the looks of it. Yep, so that goes into there. This one, fuel injector number one, goes down into there. And then that's good. And then this plug. Red goes down into there. It's coming off here. Um, that's heat sensor. And then that goes all the way back here. And so let's have a look. Alright, so front second injector goes down into there so that's that one uh, black third so that's the third injector down there um, and then we've got the last one back injector down there and then what else do we have here uh, Ah, oh, yep, just a ground. That's just hooking in there. And then that's another ground hooking in there as well. See so, yeah. it? Fuck, I wish it would autofocus a bit faster. So that's all that. And then last one white goes in there. And that's it. And then uh, this plug here goes into the ignition harness so that's all that stuff and yeah that's all the wiring I can see for now so let's do that unplug it all all right another little thing I just found was that the ignition harness has a little ground there uh, just just there so I have to make sure I plug that back in as well all right just want to highlight one more thing on the wiring harness so white is left black is right Right here. So, yeah, white. It's left. Black. Is so there's another one of those cheeky things. So we're doing white on the bottom, like this. So that goes into that green plug. Black facing to the sky. All right, another one of those plugs. So white is right. So that goes into here. And it goes just like that, straight in there. There we go, so we got all the wiring harness disconnected. Put over there. Alright, so I don't know what this is, but uh, it's connected down there to the engine. So I'm guessing it's just engine ground. Now I've got to try and get this oxygen sensor off. Alright, so now we're going to tackle this here. Uh, alternator power. So that, that should just come out. Yeah. Lovely, lovely jubbly. So yeah, I got that. Um, now I'm going to try and get this off, I'm not quite sure what it is, but yeah, might pull this back and see what's under here. Just a note. Alright, so I'm not taking the oxygen sensor out, so what we're doing is taking out these three bolts, one there, one there, and uh, one there, 
and now uh, that disconnects it from the turbo so we can get the car out and then that'll just dangle there and the tranny shouldn't hit it so we'll be good to go yeah. uh, so in trying to get the uh, elbow here off uh, this was hooked under uh, like that underneath this and uh, that this is what secures it to the elbow so I just had to take these out, these were uh, 318s, 38s, I mean, so a bit annoying, but you know. Alright, so we're under the car here, and uh, that's a dr oil drain plug, so that was a 14mm, so now I'm just going to undo that, and now uh, let the oil drain. So yeah, perfect, didn't even get... Uh, Dirty, so that was pretty good. So, let that drain, and uh, then we'll go back there and do the training, and uh, then that's all the that's all the fluids drained, and then we're good to go. All right, so we're just trying to get the uh, power harness off. So we got fuse two up here. I've labelled that one there. Comes out like that. And we got th fuse three down there. Little black one that pops off like that, and then last one down there, fuse one. Just pop that out. Uh, I'm just taking some more wiring harness off. This is uh, near the fuse, one of the fuse boxes. Um, just at the bottom there, I've labelled it top plug. Um, yeah, so that's at the back. Connects into the fuse box there. All off. So now we got sort of a bit of a mess. I've redone the wiring around where the old battery used to be before I did the rear convert. So I just labelled all the starter cables and uh, where I'm getting power. Alright, next step we gotta get uh, this plate out of the way so that the gearbox can fall down. So we just gotta just twist this off and undo those bolts there. And then we should be able to take this whole boot thing out of here. That's like that. I've just got a little adapter thing. So yeah, those off, that off. Alright, now that we got those four. 10 millimeter bolts out. We should be able to just pull this up and out of there. Like I say, lovely. So to get the uh, oxygen sensor out, uh, disconnect it from the engine. Uh, instead of getting a socket, because um, I'm not sure what the socket is. I think it's a 22 oxygen sensor socket, but it's a Saturday, so no. No hardware shops are open, but uh, anyway, so I traced it back up here, and uh, this was all just spliced in, so I just cut, cut it, cut it, cut it, and now I've just put little uh, connectors, yeah, I'll see if I can separate one of these, probably not with one hand, but as you can see, it's just a connector that comes out, connects these two together. Yeah, and then I can just pull these out, and uh, that disconnects from the body. So next, uh, we're under the car here. All right, uh, now we're going to take the uh, clutch sleeve cylinder off here by uh, taking off these two bolts. Uh, bracket off. So by just taking that and that off, and then this will come out. So I just hooked it up up there. Zip tie, and uh, this is what it looks like now. And we sort of have a um, uh, like push rod, put it into gear. I've also taken those bolts off as well for the downpipe. 